Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the Unimix channel. Today we have some more brand new LEGO leaks for 2023. Now of course, before we begin the video, I just want to say that 95.2% of you guys who do watch the channel are not subscribed. So if that is you, then make sure to smash that like button as well as subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out any of the latest LEGO leaks and news. But with that being said, one, let's dive right into it. So first off, we're going to be taking another look at the new LEGO Star Wars diorama sets. We have some uh, higher quality images of these two sets. So we're just going to quickly look at those. The first one we have is the Endor Speeder Chase set. Uh, overall, you know, it looks fine in my opinion. I do quite like the set. I know a lot of people have been complaining about the trees and such, but I think they look all right. Um, and I, I just want to say that this set is actually starting to appear in stores now as well, even though like I haven't officially sure revealed it. So you might be able to get your hands on it early. And then here's a look at the uh, two minifigures that we do get uh, for these new two diorama sets. We have the Luke Skywalker figure that comes in the Emperor Throne Room set, which we'll take a look at in just a second. But you can see that he just come with the new hair piece. However, I believe that the rest of the torso printing and everything is exactly the same as the one before, uh, which isn't, you know, too bad. Um, I think that the torso printing looks quite good anyway, so that's okay. Um, and the face is also the same as well. And then we've also got Princess Leia as well, who is using the same face, but obviously she does have some new printing for her end or outfit. And I do quite like the helmet that she does have on as well. I don't believe that's a new mold or anything, but, you know, it's nice to get that because it's not exactly very common. Um, and also I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. And then we also have the Empress Throne Room set as well. Um, and this is the image that we have of this. Obviously, you can uh, see the actual set much better now. And overall, you know, it looks quite good in my opinion. Don't really have too much else to say about it. I think that it's a nice little build, but it would have been really nice if they had some play features and stuff because this is just, you know, a build of a window with some stairs and that is basically it. You know, it's nothing too special. And I feel like for those who have the Death Star or the original Death Star Throne Room sets, which had play features, you know, they're not really going to want to buy this set. Uh, next up, we have uh, a brand new LEGO Star Wars set that has been revealed, which is based off the uh, Young Jedi uh, show. Um, and this is set number 75358, the Jedi Temple. Uh, it comes with three minifigures, and one of those is Yoda. And I will say that the Yoda looks pretty good. He does come with a new uh, headpiece, which looks great. I don't know if it's a new mold, but... Uh, it has got new printing and everything on it. I think it looks really nice and it definitely does remind me of the Clone Wars Yoda. So that is great to see there instead of the uh, the other one that we do have for the Yoda that appears in episode 4, 5 and 6. Um, so, you know, overall, I think that looks quite good. Or, or just episode 5 and 6 from the original trilogy. Um, and then you do get some of the young Jedi figures as well. I do not know their names, um, uh, but we get two of them. I believe that there's actually five of them in the show, so I don't know why LEGO have just given us two in the set unless we're going to get some more sets based off the show. Uh, and then you can you can see that we do get some lightsabers as well. We get two green ones as well as a purple one, I believe. Um, and you do get a decent build for the um, the actual temple itself. Obviously, it's nothing special because it is a four plus set. You know, a lot of the pieces are quite big. It's not going to be anything great. Uh, but do quite like the speeder bike build as well. And here are the minifigures that we do get. I believe that they do have some new um, molded hair pieces as well that they have actually introduced for the two young Jedi uh, figures. So that is quite nice to see there. Uh, pretty happy with the way these look overall. Um, and I think a lot of people will probably go ahead and buy this uh, set just for these minifigures. Obviously, the build's nothing too great. But I know a lot of people have been winning a Jedi Temple and this is the first one that LEGO have done. So... Hopefully LEGO do actually make a proper one though in the future because, you know, I, I know a lot of people have been absolutely wanting to see that in LEGO as an actual proper set and not a 4 plus build. Anyways, next up we actually have our first look at the brand new LEGO uh, pick a brick and pick a minifigure boxes. So originally LEGO actually made these with uh, the plastic cup containers uh, for the packaging. However, now they've decided to opt for the boxes. Now, obviously I understand why LEGO have done this because it is more sustainable for the environment and everything. I didn't waste two years of my life doing GCC geography for nothing. However, these look so much worse than what we had before. You know, LEGO could have at least tried to sort of recreate a similar cup shape uh, to the plastic ones, but no, instead they just gave us these boring boxes and cardboard. Um, and even the printing on them isn't that great either. You know, it looks quite bad and it is very disappointing in my opinion, but we're going to have to just get used to it. Uh, next up, we have a brand new LEGO uh, Jurassic World magazine that's been revealed. It comes with a buildable dinosaur. Um, and overall, you know, I think it's fine. The building techniques are quite simple, uh, but you know, they look quite effective in my opinion. And also, do really like the color scheme with the uh, red and the blue there. I think that looks quite good. Next up, we have a bit of new uh, pricing information. So, these sets on the screen right here uh, originally, we had all of the set numbers as well as the pieces for them. 
uh, however we didn't know what the prices were these are the confirmed prices so we have 130 dollars 80 dollars 160 dollars 70 dollars 130 dollars and then we've also got another 130 dollars so all of these sets are quite expensive obviously the cheapest ones being 80 dollars which is still quite a bit and the most expensive one being uh, 160 dollars um, and we do know what these sets are currently at the moment as well uh, next up uh, we have some brand new lego ninjago leaks so this piece right here we have seen quite a few times before uh, and we know that it appears in the uh, new lloyd minifigure as the helmet piece and this is a new mold that has been introduced for the new ninjago season however we now know that we will be getting it in white as well uh, because we do have the leak piece right here and lego will be actually using this so i am sort of expecting this piece to feature in nearly all of the ninjago minifigures and here is also a better look at the uh, new lego ninjago um, element that we will be getting as well in the new season sets i'm not really sure what it's actually supposed to be uh, but you know it looks fine anyways next up we actually have our first lego leak for the lego ninjago city market set which will be releasing this year and a lot of people are really excited about it uh, we have our first leak and this is one of the minifigures that will be appearing in the set um i'm going to be completely honest i have no idea what minifigure this is i do not know the character um so i'm just going to sort of talk about this from you know a, a perspective of, of a lego fan and someone who's not really a massive fan of ninjago um, the actual minifigure itself looks pretty good obviously we do have two images of the figure which i'll take a closer look at in just a bit um but yeah uh the hair piece uh, we're getting i think is uh in a new color you know we haven't seen that hair piece in that color before so that's quite nice uh and also the printing on the torso is quite good in my opinion it is a pretty detailed torso and as for the legs as well they're dual molded uh, with the blue and the black that's great and also the top bit does have the printed belt and everything with the pockets and everything and you can see a bit of the belt sort of hanging out from the side there as well which looks really good in my opinion uh, but you know overall the torso printing and the the leg print looks really good on this so i definitely do have high hopes for the other minifigures in the ninjago city uh, market set since this one is you know really high quality there is also a bow and arrow piece included as well which i'm not really sure why they've included that uh but we're just gonna have to wait and see um and here is the back printing obviously it's not as detailed but you wouldn't really expect it to be because no one's really going to look at the back and also the headpiece will be covering that anyway so it doesn't really matter too much um and also the headpiece of course it is in the yellow skin tone as all of the ninjago figures are um and it just comes with some normal face printing nothing too special there but i am really happy with the torso and the legs and also you can sort of just use that for anything else as well because it doesn't actually have the uh, yellow flesh on the actual torso print you can just switch the hands out and use it for someone else so i think that is a great thing for lego to, to have done next up we have a better look at the new pirate ship playground set we have the uh, official picture for the box art uh, of the set uh, so this is set number 40589 recommended for age 7 and all of this will be a limited edition gift purchase set you know i think it looks quite good i think that the build is really nice i love the slide that comes out of the buildable pirate ship there um, and then you do also have a bit of a build there for a uh, sort of octopus uh, which looks quite good uh, and then you also do get two minifigures as well which is nice next up we have some information on the new lego sonic sets that we'll be releasing for this year i know a lot of people have been really excited about these so let's dive right into it so first off we have uh, set number 76990 this is the chemical plant set this will include 292 pieces and will be retailing for $30 and we do have descriptions of them as well so the description for the chemical plant set is the following so it includes four small platforms one of which is a launcher and another one has a signpost it includes one minifigure and two buildable enemies we're not sure what minifigure will be included in each of these sets yet next up we have set 76991 and this is labeled the desert at the moment that won't be the official name for it however it's just a build of a desert basically uh, it has 376 pieces and will be retailing for 40 dollars the set includes a plane uh, that can be a, a tornado and a desert location there are no details on the figures yet next we have set 76992 the green hill zone this includes 388 pieces retailing for 50 dollars the set includes a launcher and six platforms one with a loop and the other uh, with a signpost an eggmobile with a wrecking ball uh, ball is also included two minifigures are going to be in the set as well as dr eggman um i don't know if that will be the buildable dr eggman uh, similar to the idea set or an actual figure we're gonna have to wait and see for that next up we have set 76993 this is just labeled tbd lemon 4 
uh, with 615 pieces retailing for $60. So we don't know what that set is yet. Next up, we have set, uh, 76994, and this is the Death Egg Robot Battle set. Um, I don't think that will be the official name of the set. However, uh, that is just sort of what we've got at the moment. This will be the biggest set of the wave. It will include 802 pieces and it will be retailing for $100. The set features the Death Egg Robot, comparable in size to the Hulk Buster set 76248 uh, with a sizable standing platform. It also includes 12 platforms, five small, five medium, and two large ones with a loop on one of them. The set also includes an animal capsule, a launcher and a scaled down version of the plane from uh, set 76992 it comes with three minifigures and a possible uh buildable character as well uh and there we go we have all the information on the sonic sets uh so far hopefully we should be getting some more information on the other unknown set as well as some leaks as well of some of the other figures that will be appearing uh, in these sets and hopefully the full sets will leak soon as well but there we go everyone with that being said this is the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to smash that like button as well as subscribe and turn on notifications. So you don't miss out on any of the latest LEGO leaks and news. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about all of these brand new LEGO leaks for 2023. I'll talk to you guys soon. So peace out. See you later. Bye-bye.